It always amazes me how much a difference lighting can make. So these shots actually stemmed from another shot not working. We actually put our model in uh, like a small space and she banged her head on that on the ceiling and we were like, okay, we're not gonna do this. Everyone kind of rushed around like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So we ran into this other room and um, I set up a, a light with a bare bulb and uh, stuck it outside of the vault door and just kind of like started moving my camera around and taking pictures randomly. Bring the light a little bit uh, lower in height, Kiernan. Lower in height with the light, please. And uh, during this time, I really did not know what we were gonna be shooting. So uh, I kind of just took a minute and just told everyone like, hey guys, it's cool. We're figuring out the light, take five minutes. Um, you don't wanna look like you're freaking out. That's, that's basically the, uh, the goal behind that. So um, as I am freaking out in my head, but on the outside, I'm nice and cool. Um, we're figuring this out. Could you move it a little bit closer in? <laughs> and finally I come to you know a light that's like kind of shining through this vault door from the back and I'm like all right that's it this is something beautiful we got this let's go ahead and build the shot around that I think one of my favorite jobs as a photographer and one of the jobs I think is most important about a photographer is to imagine light that doesn't exist and it's a really weird concept and it's super hard it's taken me a long time to like kind of like think like this but really just about any space you can imagine could be made to look either really great with some wonderful lighting or really crappy with lighting that's just like totally blah you know you have like your walmarts which is just like blah lighting then you have like your, your nightclubs or your like really fancy dinner restaurants that have like all this cool point lighting and things like that. And the spaces are essentially the same, but the lighting is totally different. So what I try to do when I go into a space is imagine how lighting will actually react with like the architecture and the shapes of what we're actually working with. And these images rely on that so heavily because without the lighting, without this backlight coming through and creating these shadows on the floor and like lighting up that environment and just really creating a bit of atmosphere, um, the, the shots would be completely lackluster. They would be totally boring. And I know that because actually <laughs> some of the shots, some of the images we took fired and the light back there misfired and it didn't light. We'll put one on the screen so you can see the huge difference that it makes having that backlight. And um, the only way you get to like be able to think to put that back there is to think like, okay, light back there, it's gonna shine through here, it's gonna create these shadows, kind of create this like portal that you can have someone stand in front of. And so the ability to imagine what lighting will look like is, uh, it's something that, uh, it comes with practice, but I really recommend like figure out possible lighting before you start shooting and uh, it's gonna make a huge difference. So. Working with that, uh, basically from there, we had to just stick our model in, figure out where she's going to be playing, you know, the best with the light coming in from the background and the best for the composition. And I really wanted to like make her grand, like make her like a big object in this room, super powerful. And um, so working with the composition, the lighting and uh, bringing in that front light and the fill light really helped to like bring the subject um, to life in these shots. I wanna be your oxygen just for a moment. So we actually wound up doing two versions of the shot. Uh, the first one we did was with the black dress and the images came out amazing. I totally love them. Uh, looking at the back of the LCD uh, on the shoot, I wasn't sure if we were gonna see as much detail as I was gonna want in the final shot. So basically we got all our lighting set up, got everything here and we got the final shot with the, with the black dress. And then I'm like, all right, this looks great. Let's go ahead and change dresses just to be sure that we have this shot because I knew the location, these, the, everything was gonna be killer. And I didn't wanna sacrifice the end shot being great just because we, she was wearing the wrong color dress that wasn't gonna stand out of the background. So I, we talked to our wardrobe stylist Griffin and said, do you have anything lighter color? Maybe a little bit of like a green or something like that to stand off of that gold. And it was like, yeah, got it. So they went, grabbed the other dress, came back, 
which created a totally different look in the scene. And I love both shots. They're almost exactly the same. She's just wearing a different dress, but it really is amazing what a difference they make. And I'm happy to say that they both turned out really good on their own. Um, if I would have known that they would have been so similar and that the black one would have turned out, I would have probably tried to change them up a little bit so we could wind up you know, using both as like a series, but um, I'm, I'm really happy they both turned out. It's kind of like a little bit of good fortune. If you guys thought this was helpful, it's just a small taste of what you'll get in our latest Learn Pro tutorial where we take each one of our shots and break the lighting down, explaining them just like this, showing the 3D modelings, where we placed our lights, why we placed everything we did so you guys can learn these things and recreate them for your own photo shoots. This Learn Pro Photoshop tutorial includes over three and a half hours of awesome Photoshop. We take you through three different images from start all the way to finish, going through retouching, how to remove things you don't want, special effects, lighting, coloring, all these things to create these images from a straight out of the camera to these amazing final images. Thanks again for coming behind the scenes, guys, and be sure to check out our latest Fashion Pro tutorial. Thank you.